Deco talking to us uh, from Amman, and just to remind you, she's doing, doing it from there because the Israeli government's banned Al Jazeera from reporting inside Israel. I want to bring in Hans Bedersky. He's the national director of World Vision Lebanon. He's joining us now from Beirut. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Of course, we're seeing, and as we're reporting, the death toll rising now as a result of these Israeli strikes. Many of those dead, of course, children and looking at some of the pictures that uh, world vision has produced over 345,000 children near the southern border at risk with families fleeing to seek safety schools are being closed to act as um, centers for people to shelter in once again it's in many ways the weakest and the most vulnerable in these conflicts that are suffering the most that that's absolutely correct. Uh, children should not be casualties of this war. That's a uh, deplorable uh, that they are, and only today that we have had uh, 35 children uh, passing away as a consequence of this conflict. That's just not acceptable. Uh, Lebanon was already a country in real crisis. Its economy was absolutely ripped to pieces, essentially. Its political system was in, in uh, tatters. And of course, now it has to deal with this e extraordinary event that's going on in the south. Talk to us what you think the impact is going to be, of course, on the people of, Le uh, of Lebanon generally. But uh, I, know, I understand, of course, that your speciality, your specialism is the safety of children. Yes, indeed. And uh, as you correctly say, um, long before the conflict started a year ago, uh, people in Lebanon were already suffering the consequences of, um, um, of a, a prolonged financial crisis uh, coming out of uh, the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, the Beirut port explosion, uh, and of course, uh, 13 years of hosting um, uh, Syrian refugees in the country, which has uh, strained also their ability to provide basic services um, to the refugee population and to its own population here. So what that means really for children is that even before the uh, conflict to the south has started, um, a large number of children had already interrupted education for several years um, with um, uh, inability to provide uh, or to have nutritious food on the table uh, and uh, many of the children not having seen a doctor or a public health center uh, in years. Um, so this conflict here comes really at the backstage of, um, of that situation that they had prior to the conflict. Now the conflict is certainly aggravating that situation uh, when children should be in starting the school year, um, they're being on the move. Uh, they have to leave their homes uh, and uh, leave all of their little possessions that they have uh, behind at homes uh, and facing an uncertain future as they're moving away from their um, from their residences and homes. Mm. Uh, what can uh, aid, agents, aid agencies, aid organizations like yours do in situations like this? Because I'm, I'm thinking this is coming at a time, of course, we have the war in Gaza and the crisis, the humanitarian crisis there. But of course, we also have the situation in the conflict in Sudan, where hundreds of thousands of people, probably much larger numbers, are in desperate need of help. Are organizations, organizations like yours in a position to be able to give people in Lebanon the help that they're going to need? We certainly have the capacities uh, to do so. Um, we are working with the um, with the government of Lebanon to um, install and equip uh, the uh, shelter and reception centers. Uh, right now, the, the government has given three, uh, three uh, 85 uh, reception centers all across the country. Uh, these are places, uh, usually schools, uh, that are being repurposed uh, to receive people who are on the move. Uh, and we are supporting that uh, effort by providing shelter kits, by providing food and supporting local partners and uh, providing uh, soup, uh, um, kitchens uh, to prepare meals uh, and also to accommodate children, occupy children meaningfully, provide them psychosocial support and care and give them um, uh, basic education and, um, uh, and education opportunities and learning opportunities while they're on the move and in those uh, settings. We'll also support the parents um, to get their bearings and to find a, a place where they can stay for longer um, mm -hmm. as they move around and also to provide them cash to uh, uh, provide for their basic needs. Hans Wadowski is National Director of World Vision Lebanon, so we appreciate you giving us the time. Thank you very much indeed. Most welcome. My pleasure. Have a good evening.
The Pentagon says the U.S. is sending extra troops to the Middle East as fighting.